Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Netflix is getting sued by shareholders. Ooh. Yeah, so this has really escalated. Had a friend pass it along this morning that uh, according to Variety, Netflix is targeted with a shareholder lawsuit alleging security fraud after subscriber miss. Oh. They think Netflix has been cooking the books. They think they've been padding their numbers. Well, I, I, I have wondered. So this is going to be really interesting. There's going to be a lot of blowback from uh, you know investors because they're looking at this like Netflix is like yeah we're gonna hit we're gonna hit all these ridiculous numbers every quarter it's you know to the moon. But if they were cooking the books, why would they suddenly stop? They got caught. I don't know. It's I, just weird. I mean, they're going to as far as to you know say securities fraud. Yeah. I can't think that they wouldn't be just saying that unless they had really good reasons. I would hope. Yeah, and I have to wonder what this means for other companies like Disney or mm -hmm. like uh, you know Warner even that maybe had these ridiculous projections and people invested, you know, and bought stock based on the forecast, and then it turned out that they were, you know, way off. And in the case of Netflix, they knew months ahead of time that they were going to miss. But they did not tell people no. they were going to miss. Oops, we missed. Anyway, we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 266,000 subs. Woohoo! Thank you so much for your support. Netflix lost about 200,000 subs, so it would be like all of Clownfish TV getting snapped from Netflix. It's that doesn't sound like a lot. Though. It doesn't really sound like a lot. But the fact is, is they thought they were going to hit, you know, millions more mm -hmm. subs and they went backwards and they're going to go way backwards next quarter. Yeah, it wasn't like, OK, you, it wasn't like you missed by like a couple hundred thousand. You're right. projecting like a couple million and then you ended up negative 200,000. So it's like there's a difference. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So let's see what's going on here. Netflix misled investors about declining subscriber growth over the course of six months leading to a massive drop in its stock price, according to a shareholder lawsuit. A lawsuit filed Tuesday in federal district court in San Francisco alleges Netflix violated U.S. security laws by making materially false and or misleading statements and also because it failed to disclose material adverse effects about the company's business, operations, and prospects. Well, yeah, because everybody would pull their stocks. Yeah, and at one point, Netflix stocks was, it was like, what, it was six, like $700 on Six or $700 a share. Now it's under $200 a mm. share. I mean, can you imagine if you bought it like four or 500 bucks a share and you thought, hey, it's going to go up and up and up and up and uh, you lost a ton of money. Well, so, their, yeah. their reasoning is like they reported a net loss of 200,000 subscribers in the first three months. Again, they were expecting to go positive a couple million and end up like not only not hitting that, they lost 200,000. They're trying to blame it on the various challenges, including password sharing, which has been going on for years. And, you know, behavior among the more than 100 million households that do not pay for the service. Well, why wasn't that an issue for all these years that has been going on? Yeah, there are a lot of questions. And the truth of the matter is, is that, yeah, that doesn't really affect them. I think Netflix, a couple things. One, they hit a ceiling. Two, all the content that people watched on Netflix has gone to other platforms. I mean, The Office and Friends were keeping them yeah. afloat for a long time. They could afford to take chances on shows that were garbage shows and greenlight those shows because they had constant revenue coming in from, you know, all these perennial favorites, but they've all gone someplace else. To their own networks. To their own networks, right? So Netflix, frankly, isn't worth what it was before because almost all the content on Netflix now is Netflix produced content and a lot of it is dog shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some good stuff on there. But you really have to wade through the shit to find the corn. I was going to say, you're going to go with the corn. I knew you were going to do that. You know. What is it with you and crap and corn? I don't know. What, what, did they make you wait through crap as a child to find the corn? I'm like, I'm just saying. Sounds like one of those those country festivals, oh doesn't God. it? We're going to get these kids out there and they're going to wade through the crap and get the corn. Then we'll give them a $5 bill. Yeah, we're going to grease the pole and climb the pole. up the We've pole. Talked about, me and Squid King have talked about that. I don't know if. We talked about it in the main channel. We talked about it in the gaming channel. But there, there was a, a, a county fair we went to. It was, a, it was like a local. Thing, a local it? fair, whatever. Not it, local to us, but it was like it, there it was, was like a, a very, little thing. It was a little thing, and one of the little things they they did was they had these children take their shirts off and grease them up, and then they'd send them up this wooden pole, and whoever got to the top of the pole, as a bunch of adults watched them struggle, <laughs> got a ten dollar bill. <laughs> I'll pay each of those kids 10 bucks to not do that. Yeah. It was a little weird. Yeah. But so, yeah. So I was looking for 
corn and crap, but you know, here we are. The lawsuit, which seeks class action status, seeks unspecified monetary damages on behalf of investors who own Netflix shares between October, between October 19th, 2021 and April 19th, 2022. So only the last quarter when we lost money. Yes. I mean, to be fair though. Well, last two quarters. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. I'm, okay. The last two quarters, but I'm just like, okay. So around the time when it started to fail, we were losing money. We're going to sue now. It was okay. When we were making money. If you was okay, if you lied then, but because you, you came clean or you, you lost subscribers, now we're going to sue you. I mean, to be fair, that, that seems a little bit ridiculous as well. I, I think what the, I mean, yeah, this does seem a little ridiculous, but they might actually have a case because they might be like, you didn't see any indication back in October that your subscribers were dropping. And here's the thing, like you can see it with Disney, especially um, when they start putting certain things on sale or they start like that, that division of Disney is hurting and they know they, they have daily, uh, you know, daily numbers they can look at. I've worked for company. I've worked in the marketing department for companies where I had access to the spreadsheets. I knew mm -hmm. exactly where the money from the company was coming from. And I could see day by day how much money was coming in. They knew well ahead of time yeah. that they were going to miss on the subscribers, but they were trying to keep it going as long as they could. And I think it's going to be the same with Disney too. I, I don't think they're going to get sued or anything. But in the case of Disney, they ha they Not flatlined. Bad. Yeah, they flatlined on Disney Plus, and then they had a bump because they forced everybody who had Hulu to subscribe to Disney Plus. Right. So that, but they played that card already. Right, they so, can't do it again. No, and you know Netflix is like they're already talking about jacking their prices up and charging people for people are going to cancel just because of that, and that's not even including all the, the bullshit going on with the programming. Okay, that might be, but here's what gets me though, okay? This is, seems like kind of loaded because, you know, yeah, and they might have seen some issues and they didn't mention it or whatever, but a lot of companies don't. But if you only ever, you know, as long as you're making money, you don't sue, but as soon as you lose money, you yeah. sue, it's kind of like, then why would anybody do stocks? Because you, you only win or you sue if you don't. And I'm like, that's not how the stock market works. No, that you take a chance. Right. I mean, that's it. It's, and there's because yeah. they thought it was a sure thing. Yeah. And you know, yeah, and maybe in those months it wasn't. They probably, probably they probably saw it coming, but they would. It might not have been something they saw coming for like you know a six months out. You know what I mean? So it's just like I lost money. It didn't perform as well as I thought it should be. So there's all reward and no risk is how it sounds like these investors think it should be, and that's not exactly it either. Well, apparently they think that they were hiding information. So if we go down here, it says according to the lawsuit. Netflix and top execs, according to the lawsuit, Okay. Yeah, according to the lawsuit, uh, Netflix's top executives employed devices, schemes, and artifices to defraud investors while in possession of material adverse non-public information. They also made untrue statements of material facts and or admitting to state material facts necessary in order to make the statement, uh, statements made about Netflix and its business operations and future prospects in light of the circumstances under which they were made not misleading. Basically, they knew on the back end that things weren't going so hot, but they weren't letting the public know, the investors know that things weren't going so hot until they couldn't hide it anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, and now it's like Netflix Armageddon. It's like they're canceling shows like crazy. Uh, they're firing people like crazy. Um, there are rumors that, you know, another company might even come in and buy them. Um, yeah, I could see like Apple snapping them up or something. But uh, yeah, this is this is crazy. Well, this is interesting. So they said that the, the lead plaintiff is this Fiaz Pirani, Pirani a trustee of Imperium Irre Irrevocable Trust. Yeah. Okay. Which is a Netflix shareholder. The lawsuit names Netflix and Reed Hastings and Ted Sarantos, uh, Sarantos and Spencer Newman. And Dave Chappelle. Why didn't they get Dave yeah, Chappelle right? there? It's all his <laughs> According fault. According to Twitter, it's all his fault. Um, yeah. It just sounds like I'm pissed I lost money. That's exactly what it sounds like. And I mean. Do they have a case? I mean, the, if they did hide stuff, they do have a case because you're supposed to like you're, you should have updated your projections, to let people know. But then it would have tanked your stock sooner. Yeah, and then people would have lost money anyway. So right, I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't have mattered. But this is uh, this is crazy that they're like, yeah, you guys knew that you're doing bad. Uh, you didn't let us know you're doing bad. So we invested more money in your company, thinking you're doing great. But that that is pretty much like every freaking right. A lot of companies yeah. do this all the time. I mean, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that a lot of places do this. You're supposed to let people know, but they often don't because it's kind of like, oh, well, we won't tell them. We can we can fix it on the back. You know, we can fix it like next month. We'll make up for it. You know, and then they were going to start rolling out those, uh, you know, things to cover the password sharing and all that. that. They figured that would fix it. Yeah, that's when we knew things 
things were bad. When when Netflix started canceling shows like Cowboy Bebop, okay? Well, they should have canceled Cowboy no, Bebop. No, they should have, but the thing is, they put so much in the Cowboy Bebop and they promote it so heavily that for them to cancel it after like two weeks was weird. Mm-hmm. You know, because it was like the 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 first season didn't even have a chance to to run its course, and people were like, "Oh yeah, hey, it was so bad." Netflix canceled it, but the thing is, is, it actually had a lot of watch time. But they'll keep going on with the stupid live action Avatar. Yeah, that's. I'm like, go double down on stupid choices like that. So I have to wonder if some of the other stuff that's in development won't get canceled. You know, will they cancel One Piece? I mean, they'll try pro- to move it. No, no, they're trying to move One Piece through. They'll try to move Avatar through because I think that those, gar- those are guaranteed money. Yeah, but like animation, they're probably looking at animation. Like animation costs more than live action and it doesn't have as many viewers as live action. So all these animated projects are getting canceled like crazy. That Meghan Markle cartoon, I mean, that thing, they paid them, what, like $100 million? God, this world. makes me so mad. I mean, there's people who probably have better ideas out there, but they're not married to royalty. Yeah, yeah. You know? But, yeah. but I mean, they were just burning money. Netflix was just throwing money around thinking, and that, that was that one article is really damning where they're throwing each other under the bus and they were basically like, you know, the money's never going to run out. So they just kept burning and burning and burning and green lighting every damn thing. Mm-hmm. And, you know, eventually the money runs out. So anyway, we'll see what happens. It might be time's up for Netflix. Yeah, we maybe. Know. We don't know. Going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Ta-da. <laughs> to damn. Bye.